Hi everyone, welcome back to those of you coming back and hello to my new peeps out there. This is going to be part three of junk journal supplies you can get from Dollar Tree. Literally my favorite series right now and I've been seeing that a lot of you guys have enjoyed it. I think my first video has reached 300 views. Can you believe that? I cannot. So let's continue this series. I actually have some very important things that I feel like are fundamental for junk journaling. Of course, just because I have them does not mean it's a must for junk journaling, especially if you're starting. You know, you can use anything for junk journaling. It does not have to be these items. There's no rule, guideline, or anything. This is just ideas. So without further ado, however you say that, let's get started. Number one, this is going to be a basic one, but I feel like a, a very important one if you're starting because it helps with a few things and I will explain. Not buttons, I, I just kept this old container of buttons, but it's going to be paper clips. Paper clips are come in handy so well. Not only can you make like embellishments at the corner of, of your paper clips and attach them at the top you can add pom-poms you can add literally anything charms i will add some images right now so you can see some ideas i feel like if i add some example images that i have found online i think it'll give a better grasp so here are some images And then, as you can see, there's literally, the ideas are endless. These are fun, colorful ones because right now I'm working on a rainbow junk journal. So I need colors and in variety. So this is what I have right now. But if you order my confetti scoops, I have many colors, shapes, and sizes. So just letting you know. So number one, paper clips. Number two is going to be under the same theme. I... Um, I, I forgot to mention this with the paper clips, but with the binder clips, these are perfect for um, attaching them, one on top on this side and one at the bottom on this side when you're sewing signatures. Yes, you can do it with the paper clips if you have a thin signature, but if you have a thick one with a lot of pages, I highly recommend these because they will not, they will make your paper not move. And the other ones, they can slip inside. But if you're starting and, and you cannot find these, but you have paper clips, it's perfect for starting. So another thing I love about these that I've been seeing is that some people add like washi tape on, on these two sides or um, what's the word? Or scrapbook paper or anything like that. And then you have a nicely designed um, binder clip which I think is amazing. I will add some images and examples to that. And then moving along, literally, same thing as I've mentioned with the first two items, it's going to be wooden, um, I, I'm calling them wooden clips, but they're, uh, popularly more known as wooden clothespins. This pack has 36 and the, these are the, I think, medium. They do have the mini ones in the crafter square. This is going to be where your laundry stuff is, where uh, at Dollar Tree, where your laundry stuff is, where like the home things are. This is where we're going to find these. And the amazing thing about these is going to be this Oh, I'm not centered. This part right here, you can add scrapbook paper to these pieces. Um, you can detach them. You, you could take um, the metal out and um, reshape them into an image, a flower, a star, 
and attach them either in your cover or a as a charm if you're using um, the mini ones. The ideas for these are endless. And again, these could be used for signatures as well. Will they be as strong as the binder clips? Probably not, but if you do not have that many pages in your signature, I highly recommend these or the paper clips as well. So let me know. And a lot of people end up staining these, you know, in, into different colors, either pinks, reds, or even a darker uh, brown. These are e easy to dye because um, they're that light wood. It's almost like dyeing blonde hair. It's... Um, it stains really easily so the fact that you get 36 of these high quality i haven't had an issue with any of these this is like my third pack mainly for christmas i love these and what i've done is i usually add like felt embellishments here at the top i glue them with either hot glue or um mod podge or tacky glue and yeah i, I hear it here on top and i layer them sometimes with um like bling or stickers or things like that and these are amazing um if you're curious about the size of these these are 2.991 inches with 0 0.39 inches um here's the centimeters if you are not from the u.s but i love these i will probably include some of these larger ones in my confetti scoops because i've only added the mini ones and i feel like these are crucial as well okay and the next item is going to be itty bitty but again love them and that is going to be the tags look at these tags okay they're white and i'm gonna pull one so you, you can actually see it um it is one it comes with a really long string i usually take these off because i tie my own um smaller string or something like twine like maybe this long but just itself these are perfect for like you know dyeing the edges making this look vintage you can stamp them but my favorite thing to do with these, especially when I was pen palling, I know this is junk journaling related, but if you're watching this for other crafts um, and you're, or even if you're in a junk journaling community, but you want to give your friend a sample of something, these are perfect. You, you, you can tie around um, felt samples, fabric samples, but my favorite thing to do is washi samples. These are perfect for washi samples because the texture is glossy so wrapping this um once you peel the washi tape it's not going to tear this so you can reuse this and not only that it, i feel like it's sturdy enough once the washi tape is wrapped that it won't like break or not break but like tear so these are amazing for that kind of stuff especially um gifting these are sturdy i think these would work well for staining paper like if you want to do coffee dyeing that kind of stuff i feel like this would work really well especially for little mini tuck spots this is such a cute idea so highly recommend these i always every time i go to the store and i see them i always grab a pack or two because these are my go-to for samples okay my next thing i feel like i should have added this in the first video but i didn't think about it until now so i added it in the third video and that is going to be stickers 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 and stickers stickers are i feel like a perfect thing for either beginners or more advanced people because you can make um, you can follow that theme a lot better. Right now I'm working on, on a rainbow uh, junk journal. So rainbow stickers or any really any color stickers would work. But mainly rainbow stickers would work perfectly for my junk journal. So this is why I picked up this rainbow one. Up next I'm going to be working on a butterfly junk journal. So I saw these and I thought these would be perfect. And so what I like about these is that some of them have gems. Like for example this one. 
others pop up a little bit more like this one you can see it kind of has like a three dimension which i love and then the detail with the glitter i'm not sure you can really see it but um it comes with 11 pieces this one comes with 10 three this one let's see one two three four five so 20 stickers and then this one this is perfect for those people who journal like every page is different like you dedicate a theme to each page these are perfect because i notice a lot of people like to do windows especially if you don't have a cricut die cutting machine this is perfect because you already have a window frame a bicycle frame and even this sign right here and the best part is that um this one this specific design comes in three uh three more ones so in total it's going to be four different uh window designs so you might go to the store and you might see a similar one but the window might look different that's because there's three other more designs out there my store only had this one so that is why i have this one um to be honest i have not purchased that many stickers recently um i did purchase these two these two recently but these i've had for a while um i need to go and up myself in my sticker game because they have come up with so many new stickers and i am behind so th these are just a few for example for example this one's more textured this one's kind of a little bit bumpy this one has layers so does this one but then this one's flat but has glitter literally they have so many styles and if you're doing even like a princess one or a disney one or um you know anything like that they also um dollar tree also carries disney items um which are perfect for those of you maybe using little golden books for your junk journaling i feel like that kind of stuff would fit perfectly with um your junk journaling I can even do a whole Disney themed junk journaling supplies. I feel like that would be really fun. So we'll see. So stickers, 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 beginner, advanced, intermediate, any level stickers are a must. At least in my books. Okay, and another thing I rave about at Dollar Tree, literally every time you ask me, what's your favorite thing at Dollar Tree? This is one item I will always mention, and that is the double-sided tape at Dollar Tree. Um, someone asked me if the adhesives are acid-free. As for the foam ones, I am not sure since I threw away the packaging, but this one is. It's acid-free. So... If, if that's your preference, then um, just letting you know, this is acid-free. Um, it doesn't say anything else in the back. So, and this lasts me. You know, if, if you're not really, if you need something to, to stick but not be super secure, just a couple strips. A couple strips and you're good. Now, if you need something to stick, do corners do all the edges and then do like two in the middle and that sh should keep it nice and sturdy so i highly recommend this crafter square double-sided tape you will find it in the crafter square section this is all year round okay and if not be like i want to speak to a manager why do you not have these okay like excuse me okay trust me these highly recommend okay and this next item is going to be lace. Unfortunately, your girl has run out of lace of the other kind. This is the Valentine's Day lace. They release it every year for Valentine's Day. As you can see, it has the heart-shaped lace. And I love these. These are, as you can see, it usually comes out with two designs. There's this one that's a little bit longer, and then there's this one that's a little bit shorter. This year, I only found this one, which is the middle one. Um, I didn't find this one, but I'm always on the hunt, especially right now that Valentine's Day is about to pass. I need to make sure to stock up on Valentine's Day items even though the holiday has passed. 
because like I've said, I'll say this once and I'll say this again. Valentine's Day items, most of them, not all of them, but most of them can be used throughout the whole year. Hearts never go out of season. So these, stock up on these. Okay, and following that theme, um, the next items is going to be ribbon. So due to space, I decided to take um, the ribbon out of the spools and make my own flat like ribbon organizers. So I've so far have them under categories. This is Christmas. I don't really have that many Christmas left because I used almost all of it. And then right now that Easter's about to come, because right now this video that I'm filming is during Easter time. Here's like some of the plaid, the gingham. And then here is your Easter. Um, I think this one's from last year. I need to get some for this year. So Easter bunnies and of course your like spring floral summer ones. I love these. And then unfortunately I only have one of these design. But especially during holidays they come out with new ribbons regular ones and the thin ones and then what i like to call the wire ones so i've cut it so here you, you can see a little bit of the let me see if i can zoom it in a, a little bit of the of the wire there you go here's the wire it's a very thin wire but especially if you're making bows this is perfect for shaping especially those people who, who like to make wreaths this is perfect for that but even so you can use these um, to make borders or anything like that. Just because um, they have wire um, doesn't mean that you can't use them. I personally do not prefer these. I prefer the unwired ones. But every now and then, if I really like the pattern, I will get wired ones. So this one, I just have it with a rubber band. Most of these are taped. Um, I'm still learning to see what's the best way to keep them um, tied so I cannot give you any advice on that but th that is the little bit of ribbon that I have with me right now I have more in storage to be honest so maybe I can do like a whole show you all my ribbons another day okay and the last two items the first one is going to be these I like to call them chipboard um, die cuts and these come usually in a six pack for example they'll have three designs and then they'll have two of each so these for example are the stars there's three and three but you know the designs go in hand for example the florals for example two roses and then these floral ones and then these these are perfect for decorating. I'm going to show you my junk journal that I just finished the cover. I have not finished the inside, but I finished the cover and I added butterflies. So in my junk journal, as you can see, I have these two um, butterflies that I added because the cover has some butterflies. And I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. And I got these at Walmart, but we're talking Dollar Tree. So these were from Dollar Tree, and I am very happy with them. Um, they are very sturdy. Um, they're chipboard, so they're a little bit sturdier. But they're still flimsy, so these can break. Um, they are paper-based. I did see a girl on TikTok. I cannot remember her username. But I did see this girl on TikTok that she soaked it a little bit in water and they peeled off into six layers. So if you want like a, if you want to thin this out, you can soak it a little bit in water, wait a little bit for them to expand because of the water, and then you, you can carefully peel a couple of them. I have not tried this myself, so I do not know um if this works for all of them but she tried it on a few and they worked okay and the last item i personally like to call them boarded printer paper but they're called computer paper but uh, but the reason why i call them boarded is because the borders have designs so for example there's this pink one and i've collected these throughout the year so some designs might be um retired because i mainly use these for pen palling but 
they still work for junk journaling. So the stars, like the leaves, the floral. Um, this one kind of gives me like a, a bandana. Um, and then there's this striped one. I Like I said, I've been collecting these for years. Rainbow hearts and lollipops. These are so cute. If you keep an eye every couple of months, you will find new designs. But please note, some of them have 24, some of them have 32. So keep in mind that not all of them are going to have the same amount. If I'm checking right now to see, yeah, so either 24 or 32. So make sure you know how many you're gonna need for your project. So if you're gonna need like 40 to 60, I would say get the 30. So if you just need like 20 sheets or even 10, get the 24. Well, also it depends on what your project is, but literally I fold these in half, do my signature in the middle and that's it. And these are perfect. Yes, this is printer page material. So please note that these are easy tear. So if you're going to soak these, they might tear really easily. So if, I would say just keep them the way they came. But of course, if you have been dyeing paper for a while and you already know the rodeo, then go for it. But if you're starting, I would say just keep it the way it is and just practice as you go. Or if you have those distress inks, yeah, play along with them and, and see how um, they work. Also, if you have like a color theme, you, you can always cut these and use them as strips and borders in your journal you don't have to use the whole page like for example this here or even the hearts here and it could work as like many sorry my cats many thin slices of um like scrapbook paper i guess so yeah i absolutely love these and i'm like i need to include this i recently did some mini junk journals with um policy envelopes I folded them in half and I sewed the middle with the signature. I just did one signature and I used, I think this page right here, this one. I used this one and it worked perfectly fine. I was able to punch the holes and sew it and it, it survived. So if you're starting, this is a perfect starter kit right here. Just grab three or four and you're set. So this will conclude my junk journal series thank you so much to everybody who has watched part one and part two this is part three um i will be posting a part four very soon i still need to film it i still need a couple things to grab for filming that one but it is coming soon thank you thank you for all the support all the comments the feedback it truly means a lot to me so Stay tuned for more. If you really like this series, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for... I'm sorry, my cat is literally curious. Um, and keep an eye for the future videos um, that are coming. My cat has taken over my desk area. And that is my cue to go, my friends. This is Yurio. He is a sweetie pie. He, apparently, this is his new habit now. He jumps on the desk here and watches me. Let me see if I can like do his eyes. Video. Hi. So if you enjoyed our little mascot here, give us a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe if you like this. And until next time, bye.